The Engineering Education Scheme in England and Scotland aims to help young people towards a career in science and engineering. Every year, Year 12, as well as 6th and 5th formers, along with their teachers, participate with local companies in projects in science, engineering or technology that have real-world implications. We are here today at CH Durham Hills London offices to see what students have done this year as they finish their projects, which they started at the end of last year. They're here to present to their assessors as well as to us. Let's go find out. Hi. Can you describe your project to me? Uh, we were asked to design a student's hall of residence um, to accommodate 100 pupils. Our task was to design and locate different wind turbines to have a wind farm. We were making a Reba Stage C report for the construction of three buildings um, at a site in London. We had to design the foundations, we had to choose between steel and concrete. And um, within this process we made a physical model of the smaller six-storey building. Can you tell me a little bit about what you got out of this project and what you learned from it? Well, probably time management was really important because we had to do this project as well as revising for all our A-levels. And It kind of fell out at the start because <laughs> we didn't really know how to work together. But it took a few days and after that we actually finally decided on one of them. And we felt really good about it afterwards, something that we could make improvements on and we came out with a final model in the end. And I thought that we worked really well as a team overall um, and the experience has been really great. Does it kind of spark your interest in engineering? Is this something you're thinking of taking going forward in college? Yeah, I'd say definitely. Um, I'm now considering taking chemical engineering and surprisingly our mentor was a chemical engineer. Um, I personally want to study math in university and actually Gabby in our team wants to do computer science engineering and Alex wants to do biomechanical engineering. This was quite an interesting insight to how engineering actually works in the real world and the fact that I've been exposed to it does uh, deepen my interest into it. We're here with two of CH Durham Hill's mentors. We've got Andrew Simpson and Sean Butler who helped the St Paul's Girls School. Have you done this before? Um, I've never done it through the EES before, but we'll definitely be open to doing it again. It's been a really good experience for us, and I hope you guys have had a good time as well. <laughs> they were teaching us as much as we were teaching them, and these young girls are capable of learning a lot, and are producing really great reports and works. Can you tell me a little bit about your mentor? He taught us what engineering is about and what engineers do, and what kind of career paths we can take on in the future. What do you hope the kids got out of this experience? I'm working as a team, definitely, because I think they were you know, six individuals at the beginning of the project and we certainly pushed them towards working as a team. Yeah, something we were very keen not to do was dumb it down to a great extent and we really didn't. We threw some real engineering at them. As an assessor, we're looking for uh, an excellent understanding of all the kind of constraints which uh, dictate the design solution. Um, so that might be economic, environmental, uh, financial, we don't make this a competition because every project is different. It's set uh, by the company that the students are working with. There's varying degrees of complexity and difficulty of the project. They get a varying degrees of help from their teacher or from their engineer. So it wouldn't be fair to make it a competition. But it's really nice when the project is something that the company really wants done and is a potential solution for the future. I've seen projects which have actually resulted in cost savings of hundreds of thousands of pounds to the organisations that have had that team working with them. We're really, really keen at the Institution of Civil Engineers to encourage young people to, to take part in these things because we're acutely conscious of how important it is for us to get more young people to consider careers in civil engineering. There's a great shortage of people coming into civil engineering, an awful lot of old people in the, in the industry and not enough young people. We're giving the students the opportunity to get valuable work experience working with companies and seeing what it's really like to work in industry. We actually do a, a survey of all the students that have taken part in the scheme. They fill out a reaction and we get something like 99% or so who say that they've actually found this to be a useful and beneficial experience for them. What engineering is really about is bridging the gap between society's most basic needs and its highest aspirations. And these problems can be daunting. We're happy to take them on, but today, what I, the reaction I had was a feeling very, very optimistic about a new generation of young engineers who are not only extremely capable, as evidenced by the good work they've done, but also committed to solving these problems. 
I'm, I'm here to actually uh, give out the certificates and actually give an inspirational speech on why to go into engineering and my own career. It's not about me being inspirational, you just have to be here today and actually look at the group work because that, that's the inspiration, it's absolutely fantastic. So would you girls recommend this uh, programme to your juniors next year? Yeah. yeah.